Hey, good morning. It's uh, what we call May Gray here in San Diego and just off my usual morning walk. And I was thinking about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and the capability it has to isolate a device. So check this out. So you have a device, maybe it becomes compromised, it gets infected. I get a alert in the Defender for Endpoint portal. And then I can go in and pull up that device and I can perform an action known as isolate device. And when I perform this action, it allows me to then cut off all of network communication with that device with the exception of communication to the Defender for Endpoint service. So if that device is indeed compromised or infected, whatever is on that device, whether it's an adversary, malware, nefarious user, they will then not be able to leave that device and move elsewhere in the environment. They're contained to that device. Now I could also check a box and I can say allow the end user to use Outlook, Skype for Business, Teams, and that way I can actually communicate with them as well if I need to, just given the circumstances of the incident. So really cool capability. Now when I go to isolate the device, it's going to pop an, a message up on the uh, computer letting the end user know that the device has been isolated, which is kind of cool. And then when I need to stop isolating the device, I just go back to the Defender for Endpoint portal and I unisolate it. And usually the delay is about five minutes or so for this to take effect. Now, the other cool part about this is that it does support Windows clients and Windows Server. And I'll put a link down below for all the supported information. Uh, at the time of this video, it also supports uh, uh, Linux machines as well, uh, but unfortunately it does not support Mac, at least at the time of this video. So really cool capability. Now, in tomorrow's walking video, I'm gonna show you how to automatically isolate these devices using Power Automate. So this is gonna be really cool, so you don't wanna miss that. All right, well, it's starting to sprinkle. I should probably head home. I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great rest of the day. Take care, we'll see you later.